So if you are here for the first time, you welcome, welcome, welcome. OpenEDU is usually, as we uh, said earlier, a um, webinar where we don't get to see each other. But today it's a very special workshop, a hands-on workshop. So make sure you have pens and papers, you know, paintbrushes, whatever you all need to just be creative. This workshop is going to require for you to take some time to think, to draw, to write. Welcome, Paloma, our community lead who's here today. Hey, Ross. Um, oh, hey, Ross. Hey, oh, wonderful to see you. We're going to pin you, <laughs> and I'm going to let Nicole Nimri from our, our team here, Project Lead. Big fan of Ross Gay. Super excited for you to be here, Ross. We're all very thrilled, very honored. Uh, thank you so much for Flamingo Interpreters. We have Connor, Shahrazad, our uh, ride or die. Ride or die. <laughs> Doing our interpretation. We're going to pin you so that at, you know uh, our community don't need to, to find you amongst the sea of beautiful faces from our community. Welcome, everyone. And Nicole, mm -hmm. the floor is yours. Gorgeous. I'm going to actually kind of keep it really brief and just add on to some of the housekeeping. Um, closed captionings are in the bottom right. So if you just actually they're a little bit hidden, if you click those three dots under more and click captions, you'll be able to see closed captioning. If you need them, feel free to free use to that. Use that. Oh, echo. echo. But, uh, but, uh, yes, um, we'll be chatting in the chat, we don't have a Q&A section here. So any questions, I would say maybe hold off till the end just so we're not like hunting and fishing for them. But if you have a question, we're going to do our best to capture it and bring it inside. Um, yes, this is a different format than we're used to a little bit. We usually do webinars, but it feels so fitting and beautiful to kind of close out Open EDU this semester um, face to face and in community with each other. And Ross, I'll kind of let you introduce yourself. I want to say fe fellow Hoosier, but I don't know if you <laughs> consider yourself a Hoosier. <laughs> but um, we're That's so, great. so excited to have you. This has been a long time in the making. So this is beautiful and great. Um, if you want to give kind of like a quick intro to yourself and then um, take it away. Yeah. And, and Nicole, can you just for a little, if, if you could just... Um, Talk a little bit about like the previous, even like the the briefest backgrounds on some of the stuff that has happened before with these webinars. Like you said, usually these webinars have happened. Just curious to know about previous formats. Yeah, we typically it's like kind of like a lecture format. So people yeah. have um, will typically like walk through like this is the history of this and kind yeah. of um, do that. But we've also had some people do a guided meditation with us and then kind of talk us through practices. Last week, we had a lovely workshop with um, Jess Chung, and she kind of gave kind of a brief um, introduction to like change and what that's meant for her in her life. And then she kind of led us through also almost like a guided meditation and then like some prompts of like um, how we experience change and how we kind of deal with them and that type of thing. So it's really kind of an open format and we're really open and excited to hearing some of your work and following along with some writing prompts. So y'all, if you don't already have a journal by you, I would say yeah. get some, uh, yeah. get, a, get some paper, a pen, some water. Um, I wanted to jump in and uh, Russ, also I placed a link in the chat for those of you who it's your first time. Jess is here too in the Hi, chat. Jess. Thank you so much, Jess, for being here. Jess was our previous instructor last week talking about change, as Nicole mentioned. All other classes are here on the OpenEDU page on slowfactory.earth. All classes are free. Um, they, 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 they address climate justice and human rights, but from the lens of science, indigenous knowledge, culture, art, disability justice, um, you know, so it's a broad lens on the world and it's basically what school don't teach you. And um, the, the premise of the idea was what school didn't teach you, we're going to provide for you. And so that's what Open EDU is. So I just wanted to add a little bit of a background on that and all classes are available on that link. Great. Excellent. Cool. Well, I'm just going to grab a notebook real quick and then we're going to like get into it if that's cool. Um, yeah. Just, yeah. Okay. 
And uh, for everyone, those of yeah. you who just joined, this is such a special class. It's the first time on Slow Factory where we have an open EDU with, uh, without the webinar format, with more of a call where we see all of you. So I encourage you to put your cameras on. Um, if you want to, to, to engage, you know, please feel free to use the chat. And of course, Ross, you can tell us anytime that um, it's welcome for our community to unmute, to chime in. We have right. Suleiman here, who is one of our fellow Fellows at Slow Factory. Uh, so excited to have you, Suleiman. Jess, who was a teacher last last week, an instructor, and everyone else. Welcome. Some familiar faces that we've seen recurrently, like throughout the open EDU format, and some new faces. Welcome. Please use the chat to tell us where you're uh, connecting from. Oh, and just one other note, Ross, when you kind of want people to speak. If you are interested in speaking, if you could use like the raise hand function so that way we can find you and then you can unmute. Otherwise, we'll all be unmuting and talking at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right. This is good. And just so I know, um, I think this goes for about an hour, right? So probably about. OK, so let's say we'll go for like 40 minutes and then Perfect. we'll do a little bit of conversation. But we're going to be like going back and forth anyway. Um, yeah, I'm so glad to be here. Um, it's it's. Uh, uh, I know we've been trying to make it happen and, and glad that it, it is happening. And, um, so I think what I would like to do is, um, you know, I would like to just sort of like do, I don't know, a kind of experiment maybe um, where we're going to do some writing prompts and stuff, but, and you'll see, you'll kind of see like what we're, what we're trying to do. Uh, but the writing prompts will be maybe guided toward a certain well, now I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say, it, like, that's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, but but first, let's start with um, doing some drawings, um, if that's possible. Um, Pencil out. Yeah. And what we're going to do is. Um, it's just to uh, loosen up. We're gonna do some uh, timed drawings, quick drawings um, of non-human critters um, using our opposite hand or the, our non-dominant hand. <laughs> and uh, and it'll be, they'll just be like 30 second drawings. So it's a non-dominant hand, um, you know, and there'll be 30 seconds and I'll call out. I'll okay, call I was going to say, you want me to set a timer? <laughs> no, I got the watch here. I got the watch. <laughs> Thank you. That'd be fun. Though. Um, okay. Um, draw a bull. Go. Book? I'm sorry. Draw a bull. A bull. Yeah. Time. All right. Now draw a uh, giraffe. Go. Good time. All right. Now draw a wildebeest. <laughs> Gotta Google what a wildebeest looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know. Don't Google. No Google. <laughs> <laughs> Mm 
Um, okay. Now what we're going to do is um, we're going to draw same thing, non-dominant hand. Um, but now you're not going to take your pen off the page. So you'll keep your pen on the page and same 30 seconds. And um, let's call out. Let's call out critters. You all call them out. Someone else call them out. Crocodile. Crocodile. Nice. Go. Time. Okay. Flying so, squirrel. Flying squirrel. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Go. Time. All right, one more like this. Someone will call it out. Frog. Frog. Oh, yeah, good. Thank you. Go. <laughs> time <laughs> all right and so for these last three <laughs> it's very bad <laughs> for these last three let's do um let's do uh still non-dominant hand um keep the pen on the paper but also you're not going to look down at the paper while you're drawing so non-dominant, pen on the paper, don't look down. Um, all right, someone call it out. Penguin. Penguin, yeah, thank you. Go. Time. <laughs> Next one. Iguana. Oh, good. Yeah, iguana. Go. Time. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. Unicorn. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. Unicorn. Go. Hmm. Time. All right. <laughs> That's it. Great. Um, I guess maybe it would make it be fun to we could show like 
um, a picture, a drawing up to the screen if you want. <laughs> no pressure. You're especially proud of. <laughs> oh, like a bull. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a penguin. That's a frog, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I know. How's that possible? It's like a chipmunk frog. <laughs> oh yeah, flying squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Great. Awesome. Okay. Thank you for doing that. Um, that was really fun, um, and we can talk more about that later. But let's let's do a couple more um, exercises real quick. Um, here's one. Um, all we're gonna do is write. Um, we're gonna use this prompt, and the prompt is, um, and this is a sort of a a, a poem of a or a. We use a term, maybe this this term is familiar to you, anaphora, the repetition of a phrase. Um, and the the repetition of the, the phrase will be, I forgot to say thanks for. Um, and let's just take 10 minutes and, and we'll just start. It'll be kind of like a start. And we're going to do a bunch of starts. So I forgot to say thanks for, and as many as you can do, actually, in or as many as you want to do in, in 10 minutes. So um, my clock, I think we're all over the place. So I'll just, I'll just, you know, if someone could put it, Nicole, you want to put it on there? The clock, a timer, or, or we could just like, we could agree what yeah. constitutes time. <laughs> I'm going to use my phone because I don't know how to put it on zoom, but yes. How, okay. how long? Let's do it with 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay, wait for it. Starting now. Okay, great. You guys can keep on drawing. Um, we're just going to switch interpreters now since you're all we're all waiting. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks.
That is 10 minutes. Beautiful. All right. That felt like two minutes to me. That <laughs> <laughs> was great. Uh, beautiful. It's so funny because some people in the comments are like, I had to think about what I was grateful for, which is bananas. And then I was the kind of thinking to myself, like, wow, I really needed this practice of gratitude because I was, woe is me <laughs> before mm. this. <laughs> mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, great. So we're going to keep that going then. <laughs> Actually, yeah. the next the next one is just, um, this is just a list. No, just a list of, um, in, within, let's say like within a um, um, six foot, um, whatever the word is, uh, radius within six feet of you, uh, um, that you're just going to make a list of the evidence of care, evidences, plural, of care within six feet of you. Mm. Just be a list. Oh and let's, do <laughs> let's do that. And, when, and also I want to say like six feet, but also don't be afraid to go six feet inside of yourself too, you know. Um, so 10 minutes also. Okay. And go.
that's time. Wait, thank you. Um, one more, and this will be a five minute one. Um, and this, is this cool if um, we do this, um, we're just gonna type something into the chat. Can Is the chat able to be like a something that is made available or? or... Yeah, we can record yeah. it and make it available. It's taken as a transcript. And I was gonna say, I would love to share, you know, share the, the previous ones too. I would love to see what people are writing for them. So I don't know yeah. if that was when, but yeah. Great. yeah. Okay, good. So yeah, let's just do one more. And this is gonna be a five minute one. Um, and then we'll we'll share a little bit, talk a little bit, and um, and uh, figure 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 out what else we need to figure out. And here's the one: we're just going to type this into the chat. A recipe that was given to you by someone you love, which you know was given to them by someone they love. Which is to say, a recipe you're going to share. We're going to share recipes that are, you know, heirlooms of sorts. Heirloom recipe exercise. Maybe that's what you call it. Okay. I give people a second to think on it, or five minutes. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, let's do five minutes. Here we go. All right, onwards. Yeah. Oh, and, and just, um, we're going to write how you make it. That's, that's, the, <laughs> that's the thing, how you make it. Yeah, and if and if was if food wasn't something, or if this is not something you have, it's something else, some other kind of uh, heirloom. Let's say an heirloom of care. Say an heirloom of care and nourishment.
That is time, even though I want to keep collecting all these recipes. <laughs> Okay. C can we have one, just one minute to finish? <laughs> okay. One more. Okay, that's a minute. Great. All right. Cool. Um, that <laughs> that's great. That was um okay. So you know that I I uh oh, it's so good. You can make a cookbook. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like that, like that. Um, yeah, beautiful. The other thing is that how people, um, how we differently like communicate our recipes, I think is really beautiful. You know, some people do like a recipe and then some people are like, you know, and <laughs> some people are more lyrical or. <laughs> like, here are the ingredients. Yeah. Figure it out. <laughs> figure it out, yeah. Um, so maybe, um, Quickly, we could have a couple of people, if anyone would be interested in sharing a little bit from, from any of those prompts. That'd be nice. Maybe I'm going to see how's the best way to do this, because I actually don't even see the raise hand feature. But I think if you want to say something, just unmute and go for it. Can I add something if that's okay? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So like I said, there are challenges in my infinite imagination for the limitations to cover that. And the one that really, really resonated with me is the two one is about gratitude and one is about the, the thing that six feet curious mm. care. And for me, I'm just going to wait for the interpreters. Is that okay? Cool. Perfect. No worries. Awesome. So for me, for gratitude, first and foremost, I'm super grateful for the snow factory and this place. I'm grateful for like interdependence and love. I'm grateful for having courage, compassion, curiosity. I'm grateful to always existing in truth and power as a whole and complete person. I'm grateful for choosing to live every single day by being logical, restful, and regenerative and, you know, really, really thinking about the things around me, the things around me, the so really looking at the trees and nature in the window into my garden so I can see the sunshine and the flowers and really, uh, I think being interdependent as well is something that is really around you that know, really, from the inner interdependence, also going out to radical interdependence as well. I just want to say thank you so much for this space. Mm, we love you, Slay Man. Thank you Thank so you much. Man. So, so much. We feel the same. You are on my gratitude list too for always saying something that makes me think a little harder and double back and open my mind. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm glad you said to the word interdependence. Like, yeah, that's it. And inner and outer. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Someone else like to share? Maybe I'd be curious to hear, like, I forgot. Maybe, to... 
Yeah, go ahead. Or I forgot Sorry, to say. Just, just to acknowledge that it's pretty cool to share space for like 25, 30 minutes with people. And all we do is sit in silence and write what we're grateful for or the things <laughs> that um, have shown care within or around us. Um, you know, I'm lucky if I take five or 10 minutes myself to do that on a daily basis, but to do that with a big group of people is pretty amazing. So thank you. Mm. Yeah. Can I share uh, gratitude? Please. Um, so this isn't anything that I wrote down, but I am so grateful for the drawing prompts at the very beginning. Uh, because I was very privileged to have a fancy arts education. It was public, but it was still fancy. Mm -hmm. And something that I grew up seeing and still see in my adulthood is how many adults don't allow themselves to be silly and express themselves creatively. And the way that you started the workshop with the non-dominant hand, you kind of stole everyone's excuses to uh, not create something and allowed us all to experience joy and wow. uh, freedom and embrace the connectivity that can come from absolute silliness. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And, I, and I, I'm so glad you said this. I love when you started to say that you had been at art school. I started giggling because... <laughs> Because the actual, the pedagogical impulse, and there is a pedagogical impulse in that, is to be like, let us just let go of the idea of mastery. Let us let go of that and let us all join each other, actually, in a, in a kind of fumbling through something, which we might call play, but we might also call it something like meeting each other in the mystery, actually, you know. And that's one of the things that I feel like... Um, this, I'm sort of, you know, what I understand about Slow Factory, but also hearing you all talk just a little bit. Um, one of the things I've been very interested in is figuring out how, um, you know, I have a book that came out last year called Inciting Joy. And that whole book is sort of an attempt to articulate and witness the places where, or the practices where I see something like, what I would say, like the practices of, of joy or, or the incitements of joy. In that book, I sort of define joy as the ways that we hold each other's sorrows, um, help each other carry each other's sorrows. But I feel like maybe there's a um, an actually more apt definition, and that definition is something like our practices of entanglement, the feeling that we get when we practice entanglement. We know that we are entangled, but then there's this other thing of like when we practice entanglement. And I feel like we are maybe, I wonder, I wonder if maybe we're more, our capacity for practicing entanglement is greater when we all um, get to be silly, like you said, you know, exactly like you said, Catherine. Um, and also, of course, the practice of entanglement to some extent, I think is um, is trying to articulate and witness and, and notice where care exists, where interdependence exists inside and, and outside. Um, so anyway, that's some of the, that, that I was thinking about, yeah. I would share. Please. Um, yeah, thanks so much. I'm definitely gonna steep on this meeting each other in the mystery as play as, and then practice entanglement. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Um, okay, I forgot to say thanks for the harmonica you gave me when I was going away. I still use breath to sound into what's happening. I forgot to say thanks for cuddles I never want to leave. I forgot to say thanks for asking for my advice. I'm honored. I forgot to say thanks for trusting me with your anger, even though I'm learning to know when to set protection or parameters. I forgot to say thanks for this beautiful repetition rolling into my felt cadence. I forgot to say thanks for teaching me how to feel the water in my tummy, how to scrub my toes, to draw my, uh, to chew my food into little bits before swallowing. I forgot to say thanks for teaching me how to push my tiny cuticles back on each finger in the shower. 
I forgot to say thanks for that silly trumpet song with your glasses all upside down and fingers become mouthpiece and valve. <laughs> laughing, laughing, laughing. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Uh, wow, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for the prompt yeah. and the togetherness. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I could share. Great. Um, so I just would like to share some of the evidence of the pair I listed. Um, I put healing past trauma and identifying it, um, the interconnectedness of our lives, restoring our sacred relationship to nature, learning about my lineage, people coming together, and also thousands of years of history and rehistory. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And all those trees are like, they're like, you, you're hearing us. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. That's great. May I share? Good, please. Okay. Um, I'd like to respond to the evidence of care. So um, within a six feet radius, slow factory is the first thing because the amount of care and love that comes from there is just like unparalleled to anything that exists currently, I think, in terms of a you know, knowledge builder. Um, and the other thing is I have with within my six feet radius, uh, six dogs and four birds inside and like a lot of outside rescue birds that are released, but you know, they, they come around. So for me, that evidence of care is me taking care of them is evidence of care that I had myself as a child from my dad and my grandma. So I just want to share. Oh yeah, love it. Thank you. I'll share. Great. Um, for that, that evidence of care prompt, um, my jeans that have tons of holes and I hand mend them <laughs> when I get holes. I got um, freshly gessoed canvases on the wall. James Taylor's Greatest Hits album that my parents used to play in the car nonstop. Um, and the last one I'll share are is a tweezerman tweezers that I use to apply gold leaf really delicately because it rips so easy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hmm. I can share. Great. And I really appreciate that we can all be like inner children like together here. <laughs> it's really sure. fun. It's like a playground. <laughs> um, so for the Anapra prompt, um, I put, uh, I forgot to say thanks for my inner child for reminding me about what creativity is, boundless, limitless, and fearless, created with love, gratitude, and heart-centered. Um, I forgot to say thanks for every tear I've ever wept in the process of letting go. And uh, I forgot to say thanks for the burrito place downtown that gave me free guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. <laughs> I can share. Um, I just wanted to say that the um, drawing without looking at the page, um, every time we did it, it made me feel more like I was um, the feeling of trying to recover a dream. And it really opened me up to um, how I want to do that to try to help me understand and recover my dreams. Mm. Oh, cool. Great. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Could, I, could you say just a tiny bit more about that? Uh, I just felt like when I wasn't looking at the page and I had to just go strictly into my imagination, 
and not know where the thread was leading, um, but still continuing to follow it. I don't know what, it just felt like really similar to that feeling of waking up and trying to follow the thread and just seemed really a lot like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Lovely. I do this exercise, you know, not infrequently, and, I, and I've and i never heard that response, but that makes perfect sense. And it makes me think of like other ways that we could do it too, you know. Thank you for that. I would share. Great. I forgot to say thank you for my voice, mm. for the effort that anyone puts into hearing and really hearing and understanding me. <laughs> me and Selena are crying over here. <laughs> By the way, FYI, <laughs> TMI, anyone who works with me at any length will see me cry for sure. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a joyful, close to the surface. Uh, I forgot to say thank you to the sun for rising today. I forgot to say thank you to all the life that I eat that gives me life every day, be that animal, vegetable, or mineral. And I forgot to say thank you to my heart for this last beat, and this one, and this one, and this one. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. And I forgot um, to say thank you for the challenges and the hardships for making me stronger and for this tear. But now you go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> Lovely. Thank Hello? you. Hello? Oh. Yes, I can hear you. Hi, is this Gurnoor? This is Gurnoor. Am I speaking with Manisha? Yes. Oh, Hi, how are you? Thank you for I am meeting. good. How are you? I'm good. Um, I just wanted to say something really quickly. Hi, everyone. I'm Jailene. I work at a hair salon, so it's kind of noisy. Um, I just want to uh, say thank you, like my thank yous. Um, I forgot to say thank you for helping me put myself out there. I forgot to say hi. I forgot to say thank you for tea. I forgot to say home. And I forgot to say thank you for wanting the best for me. And I forgot to say thank you for another day of life. Mm. Never. And thank, thank you for listening. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, thank you. I would like to share. Um, it's the evidence of care. And around me, I have um, all the things that I grew up with. So I had a childhood moving around, um, living in a lot of places. And so all these pieces that make up me and remind me of where home is that is in a lot of places. And that was the meaningful evidence of care for me. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to quickly jump in and say thank you to Celine um, for helping us all embrace crying this has been beautiful and it's nice to see when other people are, are and I don't know your name Colin I think is your name as well um just let themselves cry and it, it felt like it gave us permission to or at least me so thank you I just very very quickly I forgot to add I want to give a huge thank you to the interpreters and the access to you, I think, for Favingo interpreting. I think often in these spaces, 
accessibility is never included. And again, I'm super grateful for the access to and for the Snow Factory for really doing things properly in the community and in interdependence. So thank you. I'll share. Um, I forgot it's about I forgot to say thanks. Um, I forgot to say thanks to myself when I woke up this morning, when I moved the truck so we wouldn't get a ticket, when I took my first sip of water, when I took my meds. I forgot to say thanks to my cat for peeing in his bed last night and reminding me that I hadn't cleaned his litter this week. <laughs> I forgot to say, th say thanks for my body for being so vigilant to keep me safe. It's okay, we can relax now. We can relax now. We can relax now. Thank you. I wanna be mindful of everyone's time because it is 207, but I also want everyone who wanted to share, feel like they had a chance. And for those of us who are maybe behind the scenes and thinking about sharing and feeling shy, that's okay. And we see you and we love you too. Um, and if you're having a moment of, oh, fuck it, I'm feeling courageous now, you know, Now's your chance also. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much to Ross. Like I we've been, I think, trying to cook this up for a while. And I'm so grateful that we were finally able to make it happen. This has been even dreamier than I knew it was going to be. So thank you so much. And thank you so much to the Slow Factory team who really make it the most pleasurable thing ever to come to work and like I can't believe that I get to work with people that I love so much and to be in community with all of you beautiful people like that's really insane like I can't believe that um so I say thank you to Flamingo Interpreting to Shahrazad and Connor now who's gone but um thank you for always being the ones for you know always coming through all the time for providing access that um we need that everyone really needs and also for um just being available also on the short notice because i was you know sweating a little bit before this because i am a human too and i'm so excited that we can all be here together i also want to say if anybody is in new york we are having an event um, May 17th through the 21st with New York Live Arts called Planet Justice. And if you want to meet up in real life and give us a hug and say what's up, please come through. And thank you to Vaughn also, who's um, holding it down <laughs> so much and who helped also pull this together. Um also, just FYI, I'm going to have Paloma drop it in the chat here, too, if or anyone, I guess, from the team, um, a link to join our Slack so we can continue being in conversation with each other and um, anybody who can and is able to please consider making a donation. We are a humble nonprofit. We <laughs> love you so much. And um, yeah, Ross, I also want to give you a chance to say, like, you know say what you need to say and tie this all together and i wanted to jump much. in just before and say yeah. thank you to everyone here uh, this community is so special so magical we're so grateful this is a radical act of generosity we want to keep open edu free we want to keep open edu accessible you know we have so everyone is like why don't you charge for the classes we don't want to charge for the classes and that doesn't mean they're not sacred and they're not special and they're not valuable because we're not paying for them. They are even more, you know, for us sacred. 
And so if you can make a donation, of course, please do so that it would go a long way. We make this happen with, you know, literally miracles. Every semester we're like, that's the last semester. It was a great run. We did this for 10 years. And every time there's like a magical donation that allows us to go on. So we have- And shout this- out to Ross for donating his time. That yes, is- Yes, thank you so love. much, Ross. Thank you so much. This is major amazing. Love. Thank you thank for you your so generosity. Much. Honestly, like climate justice and human rights are going to succeed with the generosity, the, these acts of generosity that we do in community, because that's literally what makes a difference. Um, that being said, we do pay everyone and we want to pay all of our instructors and we want to bring Russ back next year with a big pay. So please, you know, yeah. if you work within a company, you know, tell your company to match your donations. We've had that in the past, whatever's possible, but we will be coming back in the fall. So there is that certainty and and that certainty is very sacred for us. So we will see you back in the fall for Open EDU in September. Thank you all so much for being with us, for being open and vulnerable and, you know, just trusting. This was such an amazing special class. I feel like Open EDU has reached next level with this, with this class. Yeah. <laughs> um, we would love to bring you back, Ross, but oh yeah, uh, we'll oh, let yeah. you talk. <laughs> totally. Yeah, I'm just like so moved also by the work that you all are doing. And so, you know, part of like, you know, I feel like my what I'm trying to learn how to do is to witness, is to pay attention and notice and witness and uh, articulate and um, be like, yo, this is going on about the shit that is making our lives possible. And, you know, about these instances of like sort of profound care. Um, and I'm like, oh yeah, okay. I, I just got into that. I just stepped into that community. Like you all are obviously practicing that. And so anyway, I feel really lucky to get to be with you all. I also want to say that just in terms of like doing these exercises, which can feel kind of, I mean, s- silliness, you know, in expertise, like sort of um, it's a it's a profound generosity whenever people are like, okay, yeah, I'll play. So I just want to say thank you, you know, for that too. The enthusiasm and the willingness to sort of go in is like, you know, makes makes this so pleasurable and exciting to me. But yeah, I mainly would just want to say like, I'm just, I feel really lucky to know that you all are are doing your work in the world. Yeah. You're on mute. But one more thing is thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole, for introducing us to Russ and for making this happen and for having this vision. It's Nicole behind the scene who organized all of this today. So big love to Nicole, our project lead, our rock, and big love to Paloma, who's also right here. I don't see you right now, maybe on the second page. (laughs) Yes, I see you. And big thanks to to Colin also for behind the scenes. We are working as a small team. Everyone is so surprised to know we're only five people behind the scenes. And um, we work hard. We work with a lot of love. And as soon as we have more funding, we'll grow our team. We would love to grow our team and have more ease. (laughs) Just as a final thought, because I wanted to kind of connect the dots when you went across this community, we all connected. Ross, I had run across when I was looking on something for you last week. I had run across uh, Bill T. Jones reading one of your poems in an event, and we're working with Bill, of course, for the New York Live Arts. I just wanted to call out that link that was unknown to me, but it was incredible. So I had been hearing your poems, the one with the the Bon Iver um, collab, and then the Bill T. Jones call. I just like so many kind of connecting the dots. So anyone who is in New York or knows anyone in New York, spread the word, come out that link between, like I'm saying, Ross, between Bill T. Jones, between our work and what we're doing in uh, in a few weeks, uh, a couple weeks. Um, so I just wanted to call that out and say that that was a really beautiful kind of like serendipitous moment when you realize how things are connected. So thanks for doing this. This is really meaningful. Yeah, thank you. And anyone who would feel in two minutes if they you missed this moment to do a last share now is your chance we're all gonna like be stop thanking each other for a minute <laughs> i know there's one person who wants to say something ray ray is it you <laughs> well i was gonna say 
Ross, do you want to share anything that you wrote? Sure, I'm never shy that way. <laughs> Please. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, the liquid made by my eyes. Huh, there we are. The liquid made by my eyes. Eyelashes, eyelids, the trees from, from which the floors come, who hewed the trees, who, plant, who plastered the walls, oxygen in the air, thanks to trees again, bird song, trees again, mm. who poured my coffee, who asked <laughs> how I was doing, who laughed with me, the blanket given by a friend, mm. the bed given by a friend, the scarf woven by a friend, vitamin C, however, <laughs> the sun from the windows, the windows, whatever lets the light in, my teeth, my heart hiccuping, but not too bad. The purple sweatshirt, a gift. Who made it? Who made it? Who made it? Who made me? My fingernails, the veins in my body, a glass of water poured for me. Who plastered the wall? Who made the tools? Who built the door? Who made the door handle? Um, someone found my watch. Someone found my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I landed thank you for asking thank you for sharing Ross welcome, welcome. I'd like to actually share awesome. Awesome. <laughs> um, I'd like to begin with that I forgot to say thank you for thank you for the patience they hold the kind words uh, or delicacy they use to regard me with the consideration of my heart, the hard work you set out every day, the unselfishness of giving and sharing with me. Thank you for showing up authentically around me, for being vulnerable and open to listening, for never giving in or up, for making me feel like you care, for challenging my whole being, mind, emotions, awareness, <sighs> Thank mm -hmm. you for the unknown degree angle of your smile. Mm -hmm. The unbothered atmospheres floating through an unbothered blow. <sighs> the sudden and perfect raindrop that missed my eyes as I, as I looked up. The slow hit of the rain on the plants yearning for life and resistance. The transition of the clouds with the interference of the light. <laughs> Thank you for the tranquility that runs neon green through all of our veins. Thank you all for hearing me. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any, any finals? <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. Ross, I can't thank you enough. I'm going to hop off this Zoom and then give you a call so I can continue thanking you. And <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all. Y'all, Open EDU will be back um, in the fall, definitely. In the summer, mayhaps, inshallah. Um, thank you all so much, really. From the bottom of our hearts, this is just a magic moment, a total magic moment. And um, also Ross has a new book and don't be shy. Cause I feel like you, <laughs> I want to link it here for y'all. Cause it's really a magical read full of magic moments, just like this. And yeah. Thank you all so much. I hope you have a beautiful weekend and um Yes, Book of Delights, I read to my team often. It's perfect. Thank you all so much. And Ross, I don't know if you have any closing words, but um, yeah. Just more, more gratitude. Yeah, so glad. Yeah. So, and, I, and I look very forward to like joining you all again, if it would be useful. It would be amazing for me. Yeah. Would Absolutely. That. Absolutely. We will make it happen for the fall. Absolutely. Okay, okay. awesome. Awesome. Thank Done. you everyone so much. Have a beautiful weekend. Be careful. There's a lunar eclipse and it's intense. 
Bye. Stay safe, Bye. y'all. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you. We love you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.